Hello and welcome back to my Tarot Corner. As I was saying, today I am with the Yorks and mainly because uh, I'm, you know, I need a refresher from the Harkwells. Uh, it's not like I don't have tons of questions about them, naturally, that I do. Like every morning uh, I have this notebook and uh, every morning when I listen to uh, videos uh, by all sorts of YouTube creators, uh, the list just goes on and on. So yeah, there are a lot of uh, uh, questions about the Sussexes, but I've decided to make this Friday about the Yorks. So the second question I had about Prince Andrew is more about uh, one, I think it was Neil Sean who said that uh, two uh, uh, television uh, networks uh, are trying to uh, make or uh, make a TV program or even a series about a TV movie about uh, Prince Andrew um, interview to the BBC, that interview, famous interview in which he said that he has a difficulty in pres um, sweating. He doesn't sweat since he was in the Falklands uh, war. So, uh, and this was his uh, reason why uh, what Virginia Gouffre said about him was not true. Uh, so that uh, interview was a disaster for Andrew, and uh, TV uh, producers uh, think that it's a good idea to make a TV movie out of it. And there were even rumors about Hugh Grant uh, playing uh, uh, Prince Andrew until he himself came out and said that that's not true. So what I'm going to look into is, first of all, I'm going to ask if it's true that uh, they are planning to uh, to do a TV a series uh, of TV movie about that interview, and then I will take two cards, one from the middle and one from the uh, underlying energy. Uh, if I get a yes answer uh, as to what is going to be or how are they going to portray. Uh, Andrew in that uh, in that movie what is going to be their uh, let's say their uh, angle because first of all I don't I don't see that there is a lot of interesting uh, material around that interview unless they have something special they want to emphasize so uh, before I start, please take a few moments to read my full disclaimer in the description box. This is a tarot reading. It is vibrational. It is open to interpretation. It exists as assumptions and speculation and as such may or may not be true. So please do your own research and decide for yourselves. So this tarot deck is called the Bone Tarot, and it's not it's like a black and white tarot, but it is a purple yellow tarot, purple purple white, very very uh, very um, let's say uh, well um, not vi not very vivacious or colorful. Uh, a portrayal of the cards, but interesting in the way that uh, how much information you can get from a, a card that is uh, only two toned, so or three toned. So let's see what we get. And it, like I think that most gilded tarot's are not spreading so well. So let's see. Okay. Trying to spread it out. So this will be the first card. I'm going to take card from this bunch of cards here. This will be the second. And this will be the third. Okay, let's pick them up. 
and see what the answer is. So the answer is the always, as always, in the middle card, and the middle card is the Nine of Pentacles. So the Nine of Pentacles, that's a yes card. It's, as I say many times in tarot, most of the cards are message cards, but uh, some of the cards are uh, direction cards. And the Nine of Pentacles is a direction card. But it's more than that because the message of this card is about working hard and getting what you deserve. So getting paid a lot of money because you are uh, working hard for it. So you get the profit that you deserve. This is the main interpretation of this card. And it is about success after hard work. So if we're looking into the reasons why the those TV uh, uh, networks want to uh, to get that uh, interview uh, filmed uh, on a TV uh, TV um, uh, film, uh, it's mainly a financial. It's mainly for financial gain. This is about profiting. This is about success. This is about perfection in any way. This is about abundance and getting aspiration. Uh, uh, their aspirations uh, met. So this is the reasons and the reasons why and this is why they're doing this and uh, this is a, a, a totally yes answer so yeah uh, well at least at least uh, one uh, producer wants to make a movie out of that interview it may be even more so let's see what we have here here we have the sun and the sun is a card, another card of happiness, of abundance. This is a card of uh, getting your wishes uh, realized. This is, this is a very, very good card. But as you can see here, the main uh, image here of this, uh, well, I can't remember the name of that animal. So, uh, but he's with his back to the sun, but here this, the, the skull in this uh, card of the sun is pointing towards the nine of uh, pentacles. So uh, this is about, once for once, it's about money. It is about happiness. It's about success. It's about getting what you want. This is about living without restriction and to being content. This is uh, about economical stature, but it's also about ego. And as I said, it is a father card and they are looking at the father angle uh, of Prince Andrew as being a father and then going out with uh, women that are his daughter's age. And uh, they are going to look at that angle as well. And that is because the son card is the father card. So I believe that uh, this is something that they are going to look into. On the other side, we get the world card, but in reverse. So the world card is another card of perfection. This is another card of uh, getting things done. and uh, But this is also about being able to start from the beginning, about doing new things. So this is about closure and starting over. So maybe they, found they were uh, going through a lot of uh, pro troubles in getting that uh, TV film done before and now they are thinking about new ways to do that but this card because it is in it is in the reverse it shows that it's hard to get out of the boundaries so there are boundaries that are restricting them in everything that connects to making that movie there are uh, permissions to be asked and there are uh, things that they need to make sure that uh, will not uh, banned the movie from the beginning. So this is about them finding it hard 
to go uh, to get uh, to the next stage feeling stuck so this is a project that uh, those uh, film producers uh, have wanted to do for a long time uh, the nine of Pentacles shows us why because they want that success that wealth and the world card shows us that they are finding it difficult to execute so it's still in the idea stage uh, and things are limiting them and the things are there are boundaries that they need to work within and this could be even about uh, actors that didn't want to uh, appear in that uh, TV uh, this is this card also show, is a card that speaks about sexual problems and we are talking about a sex offender or uh, something that is connected to uh, that so uh, uh, this could very much be also a limiting factor for them and this card also shows that they are looking not only into showing the interview but also showing uh, the repercussions that Prince Andrew had to go through with his daughters and with his image as a father Okay, let's see what the underlying energy tells us about those uh, TV uh, movies. And the underlying is King of Cups. So King of Cups is the card that I usually get for Harry, but it's also a, a card that is very good for uh, Prince Andrew. So the King of Cups is very much a description of all second son, I think, in royal families, because this is the syndrome of the King of Cups, the syndrome of the child that feels de deprived, the one that is a uh, despair, the one that feels uh, that is emotionally unstable, despite the fact that Andrew, at least it says, that he was uh, the favorite son of his mother, uh, it doesn't really matter because uh, his brother was, uh, was uh, raised as the future king and he was raised as the spare. So he always uh, creates this kind of uh, emotional instability, feelings of deprivation, and I believe that they are going to enter into those uh, uh, into those subject as well. So they are going to try uh, try and portray more than just the uh, interview, but also uh, uh, Prince Andrew's uh, character and his uh, uh, the the things that are motivating him. So this is in the underlying energy, and the middle card is uh, the Ten of Pentacles. So once again, a card that speaks about abundance, about uh, richness, about getting what uh, everything that they uh, are dreaming of. This is about success. This is about getting uh, the small piece of heaven, material success, comfort, continuity. So this is what they want. This is the main reason why they are trying to uh, do that TV uh, show. So they are doing it or at least attempting to do this uh, TV uh, film, they are going to go into uh, more than just that interview, but into things that are motivating uh, Prince Andrew into his role as the father of the princesses and the way that it contradicts everything that he has done or not done, but uh, his connections with uh, known pedos as uh, Jeffrey Epstein and uh, they are going to go into the emotional instability and the things that are uh, motivating uh, King uh, Prince Andrew in everything that he has done as a working royal so and after he was uh, not a working royal any longer so they are going to go into all of that but right now they are stuck so they it, despite the fact that they want the, the success and probably even have the money for it by the nine and ten of pentacles that came up, uh, they are uh, having some problems in uh, executing it because of the world uh, card in reverse. 
So what kind of advice can I give them from the wisdom of the house of night? And the card that I'm getting here is, okay, I got two cards, so I'm going to look into two, both of them. One of them is love, and the second is the warrior. So let's see what is said about them in the book. So I'm going to start with the warrior because it's card number two. And the warrior is a... The warrior, when it appears, it is such a fortune sign that no matter what is happening to them in their lives, they are truly protected. So this is a card that actually shows that uh, no matter how hard it is for them right now, uh, they uh, this, the, the fact that the warrior appeared is showing them that they are uh, that they are protected and uh, they will manage to execute it. Card number 10, which is about love, and the message of this card is that it is time to celebrate because love is calling them uh, to open their heart and receive blessings. So this is another good card, and this is a card, both of these cards are telling them to concentrate about a... Uh, uh, mental, uh, emotional things about uh, uh, the love uh, that uh, uh, the Queen had to Prince Andrew, the love that he has for his children, the things that he had gone through ever since all of this story blew up. Uh, and this, both of these cards are showing us that they are on the right path and they will be able to execute their plans. So uh, this is it for this reading. I hope you liked it. And if you did, please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, leave me a comment, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.